Bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless. Hi, thanks for tuning in to another video on Armor of God. Well, it's going to be another five minute short clip from us, where we share useful reminders for our spiritual warfare, and I really do hope that these five minute videos or series will be helpful to all of you. Now, as we know, Halloween isn't too far away, it won't be long before it will be October again. And we also know that the occult and wizards and witches are doing spells around Halloween. Therefore, I'd like to share with you something from Father Joseph Lianusi about combating these spells, and to put it simply, to protect ourselves. Before I carry on with this video, if it isn't too much of a hassle, please do share this video on your social media so that more people will know about this. Now buckle up and let's get right on it. I remember when I was at Circus Maximus in Rome around 2000, between 2008 and 12, every full moon, two of which occurred around Halloween, they would go into the Circus Maximus, people, Wiccans, and they would bang the drum, do a dance, and go into a trance and invoke demons. I could hear it in Italian because I speak Italian. Learned it in Italy, didn't know it as a child though. And I would combat them. I wouldn't go there to combat them. I just happened to be walking at night when the moonlight was out and heard them and understood what they were doing. And at that moment, I started to pray to reverse those. So we should do the same. We can offer our prayers of deliverance, such as the Our Father, the last words are a prayer of deliverance. Deliver us from evil. The St. Michael prayer is a very common one most people are familiar with, which is very efficacious. Then we have other prayers where we ask Jesus by invoking his blood, his name, to... Uh, quelch any fiery arrows that are directed toward Christians, toward us, that seek to create anxiety, trouble, fear, things like that in our lives. But don't be paranoid in the sense that every Halloween we're thinking someone's going to throw curses around at us. I'll tell you why. There was a great saint in the early church, I believe it was Ambrose, of Milan. And Luciferian cast a spell on him and it had no effect. Now, at the time Ambrose was working, if I remember the story correctly, he was in his work clothes working like a janitor cleaning in the back of the church. And when this person cast that spell and came back and saw it had no effect, this Luciferian was perplexed and asked one of the parishioners, who is that man? And the parishioner said, oh, that's our, that's our bishop and our pastor. Now, why did that spell have no effect on him? Because he was a man of prayer. If you are in the state of grace, if you have a steadfast prayer life, you will not have to worry about these things. They can affect you maybe, but your prayer will automatically disperse them. Well, that is all for the video this time. Do you like shorter videos like this? I'll try to balance out between videos like this and the ones above 10 minutes for future releases. If you have any feedback or suggestion, please do let me know down in the comments below. For those of you who'd like to support our works, I left a link to our PayPal donation down in the description box below, and I'd just like to say thank you so much for your contribution and continuous support. Until the next one, again, thank you so much for being here with us. Stay safe. Stay healthy, and God bless you. And when you are making your morning offering every morning, consecrating your will to God's will, that is your every thought, word, action of the day, you say to God, I give it to you, that your thoughts, words, and actions may always act in me without interruption. God in that moment transmits to you his uncreated light that establishes around you, similar to that which Adam and Eve enjoyed in Eden, which Christ enjoyed at Mount Tabor, which the baby Jesus enjoyed at Bethlehem, this unbreaking chain of divine uncreated light that stops curses from penetrating. This is how powerful the divine will is.